We're learning new details tonight about a drug and human trafficking bust in Tulare County that led to multiple arrests and potentially prevented further sexual abuse of several teenage girls. Tulare a Visalia family ran the operation. As many as 13 suspects may be involved, but tonight the sheriff's office is still searching for two other men. Action News reporter Alyssa Flores has the latest from law enforcement and a promising message of hope for the victims. This is where the Tulare County Sheriff's Office says a months long investigation led them. A home on Ray Court in a rural part of Visalia. They say it's where a drug and human trafficking ring was headquartered. Sheriff investigators say 43 year old Armando Torres was at the helm, along with several of his family members. His wife, 45 year old Amparo Torres, and their son, 18 year old Armando Torres Jr. The activity all came to light late last year when a 17 year old girl being trafficked went to law enforcement told them everything that she knew in regards to the human trafficking operation. She let in about uh, drugs being involved and, and just gave the authorities a lot more information. It took the Tulare County Sheriff's Office six months to conduct interviews, surveillance and gather evidence for search warrants. Investigators say they found as many as 10 Central Valley and Southern California houses were being used to illegally grow marijuana. Girls between 15 and 19 years old were cycled through those homes. The girls who were being trafficked were being promised, if you will, to the workers living in uh, these marijuana garden growing homes. Uh, they were they were being promised for sex for the workers. In May, more than 3,700 marijuana plants, almost a thousand pounds of marijuana, eight firearms, and other drugs were seized. 13 suspects were arrested, including Armando Torres, his wife, son, brother, nephew, and other associates. But the sheriff's office says they were all released on the state's zero dollar bail policy. After the arrest, three more teenage victims came forward. Officials say the girls were told they would be paid and were targeted from a specific South Valley High School. Investigators believe there are more victims out there. They think that this is an easy way to get the items that they want and you do not hear about all of the tragedies. Breaking the Chains is a Fresno group dedicated to human trafficking victims in the Central Valley. It is our highest priority to make sure that you are safe and yes, we do completely understand the risk and the fear that is in the victims during this process. Because more victims came forward in early June, some of the suspects were taken back into custody on additional charges. Amparo and Armando Torres Jr. have bailed out. Oswald Lopez and Armando Sr. are still in custody. But officials are still searching for Christian Torres and Juventino Torres. If you have any information about the outstanding suspects, Christian and Juventino Torres, or if you were a victim of the human trafficking operation, you are asked to call the Tulare County Sheriff's Office. We'll have information on our website, abc30.com, about how to get in contact with the Breaking the Chains organization that helps survivors of human trafficking. In Visalia, Alyssa Flores, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.